red banana. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to Muslim Farmville. My name is Yasmin. The month of February, I took a part of challenge where you eat what's in your pantry that you don't go to the store. And every family makes their own decisions. So I made the decision that, that I will not go the month of February and go to the groceries and pick up things and eat what is in our pantry, in our freezer. And I have got into last month, froze a bunch of breads and food and what I was sharing with my sister as well. So that's what I uh, started doing. So this is the first week doing that and we are having guests. Yesterday, my husband and I were in a show where we take our herbs there. And then there was plenty of food and he said, well, we are having a guest tomorrow. Shall we pick up few? It was the Afghanistan food that they had, halal food. And I said, no, thank you. I will use what I have at home. So today I will share it with you what I'm serving. My nephew, his wife, and their two children are coming. So it will be nine of us who are eating at home. So I'm just gonna serve what I have. This was yesterday before I uh, went outside to feed our animals here at the farm. I said to myself, I need to get some of my freezer meals since we are having guests tomorrow. And our freezer is not here on the main floor. It's cold down there and I'm going outside. I might as well take advantage of the time. As you can see here in Wisconsin, we have winter and we had a lot of snow so i'm gonna go ahead buckle up and here is the freezer down here it's really chilly also kind of cold so i'll go ahead and get a few things i am thinking about getting a couple of trays so when i bake my meals in the oven i don't have to put them into other dishes either because i'm using these freeze uh, glass dishes to oven but I'm just gonna get them out now and keep it overnight in our main floors fridge and let that unthaw and it'll be easier for me tomorrow to just go ahead and put them into the oven so I'm getting a couple of things and I'll show you what I decide here I'm debating shall I go ahead and get some burger buns or not so we'll see at the end of the video what I will put together and show you everything. I am grateful that I don't have to stand in the kitchen today putting all this kind of food together. I am grateful also that I was able to meal plan and prep and freeze. Now it's coming on handy. So let's put that out and take it to our regular fridge and keep it overnight that's what i am going to do inshallah so i'll take that and then i'll go outside later and take care of my animals that's what i did yesterday this is what i got out of the freezer and untied my chicken tenders and here was burgers with wrapped with beef they are going into the oven Let's move these. Let's serve with pasta. And cilantro tomato sauce that we made last year in July, the end of July. Also, I was able to take uh, some. We have a little bit left of the bread here. I'll be serving also on the side garlic bread that I will make. I have sourdough bread. And yesterday evening when I took the other trays food out, 
the tip right out too to untie. So now it's perfect. I'm just gonna slice that and put a little bit of butter, garlic salt, and that's it, bake it. And the best part about this is the glass dishes that I froze it, that's in the oven baking the chicken and the burgers. You know what? SubhanAllah, I don't even have to uh, get them out and make another dairy, another dish dirty at all. So this is perfect. This one I was able to take a bath and get dressed instead of being in the kitchen. I'm out of down. I did not realize that this can be so beneficial and it feels so good that I can have my food inside the oven and not worry about putting things together. Then I'll be serving with some of the uh, fermented cabbages and relish, jalapenos and onions. So that's what I'm gonna also have on the side. Also, I put together some kombucha, it's boiled tea, honey from our land, and then I just also used raspberries from the freezer. I'll show you what it looks like. That's anybody wants with, a, I'm serving it with water, but if they don't want water, then I have the kombucha. Sam, can you grab the kombucha mama from the fridge? Thank you. And it tastes so good. Yep. Did you taste it? Yeah, you had to work with it. Yeah, we did share the salmon I yesterday. I made my own kombucha and then just the drizzle with a little bit of the raspberry from our garden. So the juice of it, I put it and it's so cold now and it's gonna be delicious. I'm also fermenting a couple of more of uh, kombucha. Here they are. Let that ferment. And then I'll just add maybe blueberries from the garden or whatever, ginger, whatever we have, right? We are just going to use what we have. I'm just going to slice the uh, bread, put a little bit of salt and garlic and butter, bake it. I like to use what I have first to finish it. And I'm sure this food that right now we're going to have there will be leftovers and we can use it tomorrow. It smells so good. Look at that sourdough bread. I did not know that you can do the work early and enjoy it now. That the guest is coming in half an hour and I am not exhausted. This is good thing going on and I believe I'm gonna continue inshallah.
the children are outside. So guess what? The dogs are all screaming. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make my own garlic salt. So I have some of the salt, garlic butter. So I'm just gonna sprinkle on top of the uh, bread with the butter and bake it the last minute. It's so nice also, the children can be outside, spend time with the animals. That's what the dogs are screaming because there's full of snow and uh, children love it. So they don't have to be in the kitchen helping this day. You know, when I used to have guests to come, I'd be stressing out. Now I'm like, I have the energy to have people and have food from the freezer. So it's perfect. So I will bake that and show you at the end what I'm serving symbol. The plan I have for the pasta is I'm gonna, I have a raw cheese. I'm just gonna shred it, mix the noodles with the sauce and the cheese, bake it for a few minutes and that's it. And this is where I will be serving this cute dish. It bakes the pasta and that's it. It's from secondhand store, $3.99 I believe, just like my dress. It was $5.99. Most of my stuff are from second-hand stores. Perfect. So I'm making the pasta, I might as well make a little more. So, leftovers. We are simple family and we love leftovers. Mix the noodles and the sauce together. Some cheese, and there we go. Just sprinkle the cheese. I poured it into the dish, and that's really it. Everyone is here. Chicken is nice and crunchy, and burgers and uh, noodles. The garlic bread looks very nice and smells really good. That's it. Manja, manja, amor. Yep, time to eat. Being a mama of seven, I mean, I don't know how I did it before, but I'm gonna go on from here. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Give the videos thumbs up. And before Ramadan comes, eat what's in your pantry. So when the month of Ramadan, month of fasting comes, then we can just go ahead and go shopping, inshallah. Now, I honestly believe, put the work in and enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will continue when I can 
to freeze meals and enjoy my family more. I love being in the kitchen and I will be in the kitchen inshallah, but I can do so much with my time, enjoy it with my husband, with the children, with family, friends, with the animals, my neighbors. I see the benefits of freezing 